Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea, and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I hope you're well. It will be from the 4th to the 10th of April, 2022. So let's see what we have for you. I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit deck this week. We'll pull an overarching energy and then we will look at your challenge, advice from spirit and near future outcome. Okay, what do we have for Gemini? Thank you. We have the Three of Cups. So can be reunion, celebration, parties, reasons to celebrate. Could be some kind of event, celebratory event it would be. Okay, Gemini, we have... The Fool. In the challenge position. With the Seven of Swords. That's the advice from Spirit. And we have the Five of Wands. Seven of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the King of Swords. We've got the Emperor as well. Okay. Let's clarify a little bit. Clarify the Three of Cups. Clarify the Three of Cups, please, for Gemini. Too many. Clarify the Three of Cups. Thank you. I've got the Fool again. <laughs> Get one more card for that. Thank you. It feels in this energy you're hoping something's going to happen. And then it does. But it's like you're waiting for a decision coming your way. Get one more card for the Fool and the Three of Cups. Thank you. We've got the Page of Pentacles. So this is the news that you're waiting for. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, but it can be a message. Generally, it's quite good news. It's very good to start in something new in money, career, business, the Page of Pentacles. It feels like you're getting some good news. And it's it's almost kind of like I can, it's a brand, it, it could be linked with a brand new chapter here. Or brand new path. Clarify the Seven of Cups, please. We'll clarify the Fool. Let's clarify the Fool. Thank you. We've got the Page of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups. And I've got the Emperor. Yeah, it just feels like someone's telling you or giving you some encouragement it's going to happen or something's going to happen. But it feels like you're waiting to hear back from this emperor and you're hopeful, but it's not real right now. You know, it's just kind of like it's hanging out there in the ether, but you're, you're hoping that it's going to happen, but you don't know or you're hoping to hear back or you're hoping it's good news, but you don't know right now. Clarify the two of pentacles. Yeah, we don't, yeah. Will I, won't I, do I, don't I? Is there going to be celebration in the home, the family, the relationship? Clarify the Seven of Swords. We 
Yeah, justice. Secretly hoping that you're going to get some justice. It could be down to some level of deception or shadiness. Um, you know, the, the Seven of Swords can be somebody acting less than honorably with justice. So it might well be something that was done unfairly to you. You might be, This could be a legal thing because, you know, the emperor can be a judge. It could also be, you know, if it's to do with a company, it might well be for some of you. I mean, this is more likely to be a judge, but um, a legal person or the key decision maker who's impartial. But it can be somebody who's at a head of a company or significantly influential in a company who is taking control of a situation, if it's to do with company or money career issues. But it, for, for the majority of you, it feels... It can also be to do with fa a father as well, but a father, it feels more like, I mean, the emperor can be father, but I think it's in this energy to do with a legal thing. It can be legal institutions, um, government institutions, that kind of energy. It's the impartial entities that, you know, aren't on one side or the other. Because there's been a battle. This is somebody who is, who is in conflict with others, um, at least one other, if not more. And differences of opinion can't be resolved themselves. So this is an impartial entity is sorting it out and making a key decision here. The King of Swords is bringing you news from the Emperor. Um, yeah. Because this is somebody who also stands for truth and fairness in all, in all aspects. So some, somebody who's very direct, Gemini Gemini. Uh, it could even be your energy, this King of Swords, but it might, I, it, I feel mostly for the majority of you, this would be someone bringing communication. But it's to do with, it's to do with the Emperor. I feel you're getting some good news and it, it feels to do with a, yeah, Nine of Pentacles, sorry, Nine of Cups. You're getting what you want, you're getting your wish. Um, that's the energy that I'm getting here. And it's what you've been waiting for, the hanged man. There is a judgment coming your way. Oh my goodness, this is legal. Yeah, this feels like a legal thing. And it's, with judgment being here, there's a karmic flavor as well. Justice can be karmic in the sense that our actions have consequences. But certainly with this, is, there's a spiritual flavor to this, an influence of the universe in this as well, bring in a just and fair judgment in your favor in some way. So it feels like you're waiting for a decision. It just feels that this is absolutely, I can liberate from it all. I can liberate from it all because there's celebration, you know? That is the energy that I'm getting. There's good news. So it's significantly good news because it does feel like you're going to get what you hoped you would. And it's almost kind of like there's a pending celebration happening here. But I feel spirit is telling you that there will be a, a, a just and fair decision that's in the light of truth that will restore balance in all things and will allow you to liberate from this whole situation once and for all. And that's what you've been waiting for, just waiting to get what you deserve, waiting to get what you want. Uh, the nine of, of cups, however that manifests for you, is the energy I'm getting. Very positive for you, Gemini, that's for sure. Okay. Final message for Gemini. Yeah, we have swan, graceful transformation, soften your heart and find your flow. I love the butterfly because it does feel like you're emerging from one phase of your life to another and there's a beautiful result at the end of it. Obviously, the butterfly is beautiful. So we have emerging, take the leap of faith. Yeah, bottom of the deck, actually, I've got trust. And we've got the ghost deer watching over all the other deer there. Approach the situation with a light heart. So you're kind of being told, don't worry, really. Lovely energy, Gemini. I mean, it, there's appreciate there's, that there's been a battle on, but it's a lovely energy for you. Um, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.